Um, we are trying to emerge as bigger leaders um, because the guys on defense uh, look up to us, you know, ever since Devin White and uh, Greedy left. So, you know, me and Greedy has t taken on that role and, you know, became that vocal leader on defense. And, um, you know, as these, you know, two practices we have, you know, the defense is doing great and, you know, they see the leadership in us and they believe in us. What about the other guys around you like um, Patrick Queen and uh, I know Phillips can't get hit right now, yeah. but uh, how, how about those guys in the linebacking core? Job they're doing. Patrick, uh, Micah, and all those guys, Damone, all those guys doing great. Um, you know, just with a couple of times, you know, they got in in the season due to, you know, the illegal hits that uh, was called on, you know, Devin and uh, Jacob. Just those, them getting those exposure and being able to play. Um, the one thing, you know, we had talked about that we needed to work on as a defense as a whole, not just as those guys, as communicating. And they have, they've done great these first two days, and um, their progress has, you know, picked up tremendously. And I feel like by the t end of this spring, they would be, you know, very comfortable at that in inside linebacker position. Is there a different vibe with uh, Caleb Vaughn out there now? Um, yeah, to be honest, yes. Uh, just having having him back, um, having him back uh, healthy, and you know him getting back into, you know, just pass rushing and you know playing blocks. It's, it's it's a great feeling for him and for the defense, you know, to know that we, you know, we're getting everyone back. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've grown up tremendously uh, mentally and physically, uh, just being a leader. Um, and just, it's, it's a lot. Um, you know, I, I'm happy that, the, you know, the man I've become on and off the field, and um, it's showing. Yeah, at first I was quiet, um, just, you know, you know, playing the field, just being backwards, you know, just doing what I had to do as a, you know, football player. And, you know, now that, you know, a couple guys are going and I have to step up, you know, it's, it's a it's a big shooter field, you know, just, you know, with the guys who left and, you know, the legacy they left. Um, you know, I'm just here to sit here and, you know, do what I got to do for the team and, you know, be that vocal leader that they need. What is your relationship with Coach it's always been strong. He's always been an honest player's coach. Uh, he's always, you know, helped me through the whole progress since I've been here for my, you know, just going to my fourth year. Um, the relationship has got better, um, and you know, like he's he's way more comfortable. Um, and you know, he looks at me to be that leader, and I'm there. What do you think is in store for Grant Delpit in terms of the number seven and the year he can have? Uh, I'm proud of Grant. You know, from the last year he had and the years before that. Um, him having number seven is, you know, wonderful. I, you know, I'm I'm proud of him and I'm happy for him. And I believe that this year is going to be a great year, better than last year. You felt two years ago what it was like to lose out to the bowl game in another mm -hmm. game. Coming off a great win over UCF. Yeah. Does it feel totally different, the atmosphere in the building on a day-to-day -day basis this offseason compared to last? Yes, um, from the brotherhood, just, you know, the – we – just, you know, the love we have for each other, and, you know, we stick together, and, you know, it's getting stronger and stronger. Last year was strong. This year it's getting even stronger. And just coming off that big season we had last year, um, you know, going to New Year's Six Bowl, and, you know, this goal this year is to go to the playoffs. And um, I like the energy that everyone has, even the young guys. And then plus, you know, the signees we got coming in this year, um, they're going to be very helpful. And, you know, when they come in, you know, they're going to be ready to play. What would you say about your linebacker group that even after losing Devin White, it can your group is considered to be one of the best in the, in the league, the linebacker group. Um, I look at it like, you know, like what Coach O said, um, you know, uh, next man up. Uh, you know, when Devin, uh, Devin White was out, Patrick Queen came in up for what a half and had like nine tackles. Um, you know, we got guys. We got, you know, we got depth at linebacker, and I know I got trust in those guys from Micah, Patrick, um, Damone Clark. I got a lot of faith in those young guys. In the years you've been here, how much stronger has it gotten each year, just personnel, just the depth? It has got stronger. A lot of guys are taking it more serious when it comes to learning the playbook and, you know, really learning, like, next man up, you never know what will happen. You got a sack number you want to reach this year? <laughs> um, you know, I had five last year. Um, I really – I talked to Arden and Kid every day, so I, uh, I told him, like, I'm really going to try to break his record this year. What did he say? Um, he congratulated me uh, on everything like I talked to him about. I called him, actually talked to him, and showed him my film just from pass rushes and those type of things. And then actually, you know, I go work out and do pass rushes on weekends and those type of things. And he's been very helpful. So, you know, he really – and plus he was my roommate when he was here. So, you know, he's very encouraging. And, um, you know, I pray that I do, you know, break that record.